what is up my fragrant people welcome back to my channel my name is carrie and welcome to episode six of the experience now this is where i take one fragrance or fragrance layer and break it down so that it can forever be broke and give you guys my wearing experience so you can determine whether it's going to be good for you or not now the fragrance that we're talking about here today is from the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn or just the house of Francis Kirkjohn. Sorry, his name is not Mason. And that fragrance is Aqua Universalis Forte. And this is the more intense version of Aqua Universalis, which was an EDT. So of course, Aqua Universalis Forte is an EDP oil concentration and it retails for about 275 bucks. Now the nose behind this fragrance is Francis Kirkjohn and he developed this fragrance in 2011. Now the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn actually came about in 2009. And in that same year, Aqua Universalis, the EDT was formulated. Two years later, you got it. We have this one, the more intense version of the EDT, which was the EDP. So let's break down the notes that MFK says that they put into this formula. On the opener, we're getting a nice citrusy blast of lemon and bergamot. In the heart, you're getting white florals, jasmine, and rose. And on the base, we're getting a heavy woods followed up by a nice, smooth, silky musk. So yeah, 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 Carrie, what do we get with all that? So let me tell you guys my experience on what I'm actually getting on this fragrance, guys. At the beginning, super, super citrusy, all right? You're getting that Amalfi lemon and you're getting a great bergamot up top and they are married completely seamlessly. There is no separation here. You're getting a lemon that's basically supported by a nice hearty bergamot. So lemony citrusy. It is not the lemon that you may be used to if you're used to lesser fragrances. This is French luxury in a bottle. Nice, bright, nice, fresh, citrusy fragrance, right? So you're getting that at the beginning. After about 20, 25 minutes, we're gonna go into a well-defined, sharp heart. And that jasmine adds a little powdery note to this. The jasmine kind of plays a second fiddle to the white florals. The white florals come in really, really nice. They're not nose blasting. They come in really smooth, well blended. They are supported by the jasmine and it's just a little tinge of rose. They say it's a rose absolute in there. It's a tinge of it. And to me, it's not a red rose. It's more of a soft red or, or maybe even a pinkish rose. So that's why I use the color rose that I do in the breakdown of this. I don't get a super red ruby rose, but it's there, very faint. But if you're used to rose and you've smelled the extract, the oil, you may be able to pick that up here. And after about an hour, guys, this is where we start to get the sunshine through. We start to get why I think they developed this fragrance. You're gonna get a heavy woodsy fragrance that has a pillow of musk on top of it. So the musk to me is very heavy and it doesn't come in though until the dry down. So you're getting a woodsy fragrance with the musk on top of it. It gives it sort of a nutty note to the musk and it is very, very different from what you may be used to. And I am also still getting a bergamot down low. So you're getting a citrusy, woody, musky fragrance that is carrying a very, very high potential to perform in very high heat. So in my opinion, is this feminine or is this masculine? I think this is actually universal. It is genderless, but if you're gonna lean a certain way, I know a lot of guys are scared of florals. This is going to be considered feminine, especially on the opener. Now on the dry down, I do believe this starts to go right back to the middle, even leaning masculine, because I do believe that with the musk and the heavy woods, that I'm getting a good masculine feel. Now, every guy's not gonna get that sense from it, especially if you're really concentrating on the opener and the heart. To me, I'm not afraid of florals and I can actually rock florals pretty well. So to me, I believe this is right on the gender line. If you wanna split hairs and you wanna call this feminine, I can see how some people will call it that. But to me, I believe that a man can rock this very well. You need to be confident and you need to like white florals. Now let's talk about when you're gonna be wearing this. This, in my opinion, Universalis is not going to go formal. You're talking about something that's going to stay under the suit line, all right? You're not gonna be wearing a blazer. You're not gonna be wearing a sport jacket with this. You're wearing all the way dressed down 
all the way to a more dressed up casual all right now we've already kind of alluded to the season on this one guys and this is going to definitely be high heat you can see with the bergamot and lemon in there and then of course the added rose you're going to get something that's going to be high heat worthy right but the thing about this one that i found on my skin is that the hotter it gets the more the performance is going to come out so i believe that in lower temperatures you're not gonna really get the, the notes that this thing is supposed to feature. You're not gonna really get that to stand out. To get that bergamot and to get that must the way it's supposed to blend into the formula to really stand out right in that freshness, you're gonna wanna have something that's gonna be a little around 80 degrees and up. This is where you wanna get fresh and you wanna get something like this in your rotation. Now guys, let's talk about longevity. Now this is going to be your wear may vary, but I'm gonna tell you what I get. In my opinion, this is a very long lasting EDP. It's going to be different based on how clean you are, what you're wearing, where you live, the humidity, the temperature, dew point, the barometer, everything. You can just guess how this thing can change. But on me down here where the humidity is high, temperature tends to be high. Hey, I am getting 10 plus hours on this easily. And I'm spraying this four times. I'm hitting the front of my throat, behind each ear, and once behind the neck, which is my normal routine four sprays this bottle of 2.4 ounces will last me forever and let's talk about projection which once again is going to be subjective the way i hit myself here if i hit my clothes two times on top of the four my projection still stays about the same so i'm getting a projection of about a foot to a foot and a half that's about it especially on the dry down because we all know that musk are chemically made to stay close to the skin but you do get a little bit of that projection it's a freshie guys it's not made to go across the room and then into someone's car and then down the block it's not meant to do all that it's meant to be fresh and it's meant to actually uplift and stay right there in that scent bubble and my favorite let's talk about siage now the siage on this one is a very very unique one so it's going to change the sillage within the first 30 minutes on the opener with the lemon added to the bergamot is different from the heart the heart when the jasmine the counter powdery jasmine kicks in is going to be different right and then on the dry down i'm getting another completely different fragrance so on the dry down it is a woodsy musk fragrance with some white florals added with a touch of citrus that is going to have a completely different sillage. The dry down sillage is more of, to me, I describe it more of a sexy, a come hither fragrance. And that sillage is blowing behind you and it lingers a little bit. That's gonna be maybe two feet, two and a half feet. Perfect for this time of year, right? You're gonna get a great sillage. It's gonna hang in the air and people are gonna know you were there a few seconds after you've been there and let's talk about compliments something that everybody likes to talk about i've heard guys say oh i don't wear fragrances for compliments yeah right. not me i like my fragrances i like the way i feel i like the way i smell when i wear fragrances like this trust me they're the icing on the cake but the compliments especially when you're actually out to actually attract someone along with your personality and your style Believe me, it then puts the cherry on top of your cake. Compliment factor is going to be high on this one because in the opener, it gives more of that mass appealing lemon and bergamot citrus that most people like, right? But on the dry down, you're gonna get something that's going to attract your intimate partner. That dry down, that heavy musk is going to attract the person that's closest to you and the person that you wanna stay close to you. So compliment factor, way up there. So guys, you know what this comes down to. I always say, is this fragrance a easy reach daily wear is it a weapon a tool that can be used for a specific hunting reason or is this a flop is this something i'm just going to be waiting to give to somebody else or resell it or to the highest bidder so to me aqua universalis forte is a daily wear this is not going to be considered a weapon but I believe that a lot of people are gonna love this and I believe that a lot of people are gonna hate this because this is a niche fragrance and it comes off that way. If you're a man and you're wearing this, you're gonna love it or hate it. For me, I absolutely love it. If you're scared of florals or if you do just do not like florals, this is not for you. But if you wanna get into more floral fresh scents, this thing is a citrus bomb, opens up white floral, it is great for you. If you want to get into citruses and to get into more fresh floral scents, this is the one for you. Laundry fresh, super, super clean, bright, and sparkly. 
I love this fragrance. It has a place in my collection and I will always have it. Like I said, this fragrance only four sprays is what I need and it actually projects for a while and the longevity is incredible for a freshie. So can a freshie have good performance? You damn right. So there it is guys, Aqua Universalis Forte, the EDP. Let me know guys, what are you guys rocking right now that is a freshie? I wanna know what is your favorite freshie that lasts 10 plus hours, cause they're out there. We get a lot of complaints from guys saying freshies don't last. Yeah, yeah they do. You have to choose better. You have to pay attention to the breakdown and pay attention to the perfumer. Or there may be some hidden gems out there that I don't know about, but for me, MFK does things the right way almost every single time. And this freshie is no exception. But let me know guys, have you guys smelled this one? Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? But either way, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hit that like button on your way out and please subscribe if you like this type of content. And until next time, keep smelling good.